The sun rises over a mountain as a blue goose appears above a body of water with a fish jumping out of it, revealing the emblem of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. The profile of a black carp sitting against a white background with text that reads, How to Identify a Black Carp. Invasive Asian carp continue to pose a threat to our country's waterways. Several dozen silver carp jumping in the air around a moving boat. In the United States, there are four types of invasive Asian carp. Big head carp, silver carp, grass carp, and black carp. Each type of Asian carp poses a unique threat to our country's freshwater lakes and rivers, and in turn, native aquatic animals. This video will help you learn how to identify black carp using grass carp as a point of comparison. Similar to other species of Asian carp, the black carp is a fast-growing fish with a voracious appetite. A pile of damp freshwater mussels. What is unique about the black carp is that it prefers to eat snails and mussels. White jawbones of a black carp displaying teeth. With powerful teeth that resemble human molars, a grown black carp is capable of eating up to four pounds of mussels in a day. Shells of empty freshwater mussels strewn about a beach. This can have a devastating impact to our native mussels, many of which are already threatened or endangered. Grass and black carps are easy to confuse since they are similar in body shape, size, and fin placement. They also both have large scales. A black carp has a few physical characteristics that can help distinguish it from a grass carp. In coloration, they are not always truly black as their name suggests. They can also be found in shades of blue-gray or dark brown with darkly pigmented fins. In contrast, grass carps are silvery white or olive brown above and silvery below, and most fins are dusky in color. When compared side by side, black carps are typically darker in coloration than grass carps. Black carps also have narrower heads than grass carps with a more pointed nose or snout. The gill cover, or operculum, on a black carp is also longer than a grass carp's, which contributes to the appearance of an elongated head. When you view the head of an adult black carp from above, its top lip should not be visible when its mouth is closed. If you can see the line of the fish's top lip, then you are most likely looking at a grass carp. Black carp is an emerging threat in many states. A biologist examines a black carp caught by a commercial fisherman. Natural resource agencies are therefore interested in knowing the locations where these fish are found, their size and age. The biologist then collects samples from a black carp specimen. Sexual reproductive status and their diet in the wild. Due to the physical similarities of grass and black carps, accurate identification can be tricky. When in doubt, make sure the fish is dead and put it on ice, but don't freeze it. Then call your local conservation, Department of Natural Resources, or fisheries office. Remember, both grass and black carps are invasive species, so never put live fish back in the water. A U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service biologist holds up a black carp. It is important to know that black carp is also listed as injurious under the Lacey Act. A law enforcement officer examines a flatbed truck carrying large covered containers. This means that it is illegal to transport live black carp across international and state lines. Though hopefully rare, there is a chance that you might encounter a young black carp. Due to their similar characteristics, young black and grass carps are extremely difficult to distinguish from each other and other fish in the carp and minnow family. If you think you have found a young black or grass carp, put it on ice, but don't freeze it, and contact your local natural resources agency. Thank you for taking the time to learn about how you can identify black carp. A team of individuals in waders hauls in a net full of Asian carp. For more information on how federal, provincial, state, and local partners are working together to control and manage Asian carp, please visit www.asiancarp.us.